I'll never forget the first time I saw the Andromeda galaxy. I had just gotten my new telescope, was so excited to use it, took it outside on a snowy, icy night when I probably shouldn't have, set it up, and the first thing I wanted to look at was this massive, beautiful galaxy in the sky. I found the Andromeda galaxy, and I was a little disappointed. I was used to seeing it in images on the internet and in books of this gorgeous spiral galaxy with arms coming off of it and dense core details. And what I saw through my telescope was a impressively blurry smudge. My expectations were too high. I had been kind of let down by impressive deep sky photography images of it that I had just been used to growing up. Today we're going to take the Andromeda Galaxy and we're going to use it to set some reasonable expectations of what you can hope to see through a medium-sized telescope and what you can hope to capture of it from astrophotography. Let's start with visual observing. I have an 8-inch telescope and that's a great starting point for starting to hunt down hundreds of deep sky objects in most areas of the country, particularly those with medium or low light pollution. What you're going to see from Andromeda from this is an incredible view you're going to see the dense core of this galaxy that is over 2.5 million light years away. It took the light that you are seeing coming through the telescope and hitting your eye 2.5 million years to travel the distance of Andromeda to your backyard. As impressive as it is to visually see Andromeda through your own eye, it's even more impressive to be able to capture the details of this object over minutes and minutes and sometimes hours worth of data. To capture this image of the Andromeda Galaxy, I used my SkyGuider Pro tracking mount and matched it with my Canon SL2 and an EF 50mm lens. I set the focal ratio to f2.8, which allowed in a tremendous amount of light. The ISO was set to 200. I took 71 separate one minute light frames and stacked them to one hour and 12 minutes worth of data. You go beyond what you see from visual astronomy of the dense core to now seeing faint details of the armbands and an incredibly beautiful star field surrounding this galaxy. Regardless of whether you're just getting into visual astronomy or astrophotography, Always remember that the objects that you're viewing, be them planets, star clusters, or galaxies, are incredible things to see. Very few people in world history have ever viewed or imaged things like the Andromeda Galaxy. 2.5 million light years away, traveling at speeds that are almost incomprehensible towards our own galaxy, possibly even holding intelligent life that we will probably never know about. These objects do nothing but reveal the glory of God to me, and I hope they inspire you to continue to get into this hobby. Thank you so much for watching, and be sure to subscribe to Late Night Astronomy.